What is up everyone? We are back again with another Lego review video. In this video, we'll be going over the Lego Clone Trooper Battle Pack from 2007. <clears throat> this set is set number 7655 and had 58 pieces. It sold for $9.99. This set was part of the Revenge of the Sith line of sets and it is the first battle pack, one of the first battle packs ever made and the first to ever include clone troopers. So this set is an army builder. They were designed to be cheap, affordable, and have lots of minifigures so you can buy a lot of them and build up your army. They had uh, multiple versions of these. They had one for the droids, for the rebels, for the empire. And here in front of us, we have the clone trooper one for the Republic. So this set is really basic. There's really not a lot of stuff to it. We've got our four clone troopers to build the army with. You have a little turret in the back and a speeder right here. So we'll start off with the figures. For the figures, we have up first a standard phase two clone trooper with macro binoculars and a pistol or blaster uh, rifle pistol. Um, we also have a 327th Star Corps Trooper. Now, unlike the clone turbo tank from 2006 and 2005, this guy does not have a pauldron or the double blaster pistols. He just has one blaster and just a standard 327th design with no pauldron or anything else. So it's the same figure, but different gear. Um, that's what he looks like. You got the nice yellow markings there, the bandolier on the side, yellow markings on the front. And on the back, a little um, black decal there. Nothing on the legs or the arms. Again, still a cool figure to have. Next, we have another standard Phase 2 Clone Trooper. These are just the generic Phase 2s. Again, we all know how there's the uh, molds. The molds were designed so that there's holes in the helmet. That way, you have a black head, and when you put it on, it creates the visor. Um, he has a blaster rifle and just the standard phase two design. We've all seen that before. And up next we have the shock trooper. So this is the first set to ever have a shock trooper in it. So this is really cool. We've got the nice red decals on him, the uh, red lines on the front, very closely resembles what we see in the movie. It looks a lot, it's really looks a lot like it. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's a blaster rifle on this guy. He also have, has the red on his belt and the red chest plates. So this is a really neat design. Very cool looking. And especially if you got like a lot of these, you get like just a, three or four of them, you already got some phase two clones and also a few clones to build a small uh, group of 327th and shock troopers. Hey, I am back. My camera just died and I had to go uh, charge it real quick, or my phone died, and I had to go uh, charge it real quick, and uh, now we are back though. So, as I said before, you can build armies with your shock troopers and 327 troopers. Um, now we have the vehicles, so we're gonna go right up with the speeder first. The speeder is really cool looking. It's got two seats, one for a gunner and one for a pilot. We have these nice uh, guns on the side, which can, which uh, look pretty cool, they're like the standard Blaster with a cone color on it, like a cone uh, uh, piece. And then up here we have two handlebars for the pilot to grab onto. So we can put the 327 Star Core Trooper right in here. And we can take the trooper with the binoculars and put him in the back. And then also on the back is a little gunner spot with a uh, blaster right on it, right there. And then he's also holding one too, but that's cool. We also have engines on the back and then these uh, two pieces on the bottom for support. So uh, here's what it looks like uh, on the ground. It's pretty neat. It's very, very simple design, really basic, not a lot to it, but it looks really cool. And it uh, is very good for playability. You can uh, buy, a few, buy a few of these and have a battalion of speeders that you can uh, use in battles and whatnot. So that's the speeder. And then next we have the uh, I guess it's a, a turret, like a turret gunner post, something like that. But, uh, or a sniper post, but 
pretty basic. There's just a stand for a trooper to put to go on, so you can take the shock trooper and just make him stand right there, and then you can operate the turret, so it can rotate all the way around. It's got a nice little uh, some uh, armor in the front, the protection for the operator. I guess if you wanted to, you can make him sit down. That way, he's more protected when he's using it. And, but uh, yeah, that's that's that for the turret. So that's about that's about it for this battle pack. Not a lot to it. It's really basic. It's mainly the main focus is the figures. Like you get like, you're getting these for the figures, and to uh, basically build your army. That was the branding for these. They they sold them for the specific um, purpose of building your clone trooper or rebel or whatever Star Wars faction building your army. So uh, this is a great set for the troopers um, to get troopers. Great set for, for building your army. So as a battle pack, you I rate this a huge thumbs up. This is a great battle pack. Definitely one that you should get. And I gotta say, if you were living in 2007 when this was released, like, I, I am very jealous of you because I was, like, five years old back then. So, uh, if, you were, if you were able to get a lot of these, uh, very lucky. Um, for playability and usage for, like, battles or mocks or whatever, I'd say another thumbs up. Very good for that. It has The speeder's really nice. You have blasters on it. Not, not really anything, like, any special or cool features, but it still, like, looks really cool. I mean, <laughs> you know, looks cool and uh, has, like, guns and stuff that you could use for uh lego setups so uh yeah great set uh definitely get it definitely add out this is this is the first lego set i ever got actually that had clone troopers in it so like before uh like i never got any of the original ones all the like everything before this i got like within the past uh five to eight years but uh this was the first set i ever got with clone troopers the original figures i still have them they're uh in storage right now, but uh, this is a new one. I bought a new one online because I was missing some figures and pieces from it. So uh, that's what I'm showing you here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time.